name is Monique. Um, I work here with Clearstone. I've been with Clearstone for about since 2011. Um, I'm a laser hair removal technician, um, a professional technician. There are different levels. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that for quite some time. We, I also do other treatments as well, like chemical pills, microneedling treatments, IPL photofacials, nail fungal treatments. So a lot of the services that we do offer, all of us are cross-trained in. So, you know, I definitely perform all of those treatment areas. Laser hair removal is definitely an awesome treatment. And basically what that is, is it's a permanent way to kill or reduce that hair follicle. Um, and so for instance, if you end up going through a series of treatments, which again, it normally takes an average of six to nine sessions to complete, after your treatments have been done, um, that hair won't regrow back in. So it's definitely a way to permanently kill or reduce hair follicles. The benefits of laser hair removal, I mean, there's a multitude of benefits, right? So it depends on the client or our guest. For example, if you have um, an issue with ingrown hairs, the laser is going to help with that over time because um, with ingrown hairs, the reason or the cause of that is hair growth. So once you remove the root of that problem, you're not going to have that issue any longer. So what develops from ingrowns? dark spots. So that's also another issue that a lot of our guests may have when they do or have prone or prone to ingrown hairs. So you're definitely going to solve dark spots, also known as hyperpigmentation. Um, and then you're also going to help again, kill, reduce that hair follicle. So that alone is going to also help with the ingrown hairs. So you're basically kind of killing two birds with one stone essentially. So a lot of people end up going to their medical providers to help relieve that cyst. And so what they would generally do is sometimes they would have to cut that open, pack it, let it drain. There's a whole bunch of different things that um, a medical provider will do for that, but they will also suggest removing that hair so they're not getting that issue over and over and over again. So it's really common for people to develop cysts in between the buttocks region um, because that area causes a lot of friction. Sometimes it's also in the inner thigh, extremely uncomfortable. So laser's also um, good for that as well. So that's definitely another added benefit. And of course, you'll be here free especially when summer comes around, you know, you don't have to wear like hide your underarms or hide your legs. You don't have to shave. If you guys have kiddos, you can definitely just go put on a swimsuit. Let's go. You know, it's definitely, there's no time wasted. You can absolutely just get dressed and head out the door. Laser hair removal is definitely universal. So the areas that we can treat is essentially everything. Full body, head to toe. Um, so that would also, that would include head hair. So if men, if you're going bald, you can get it done, okay? So you can also do, and it's perfectly safe. Um, women, you know, a lot of women typically get um, their bikini treatments or Brazilian, also known as Brazilian. Uh, they also do lower legs, full legs, underarms, arms totally safe um some of our guests do ask that question is it safe um they are, are worried about maybe damaging anything internally it does not do anything internally all it's doing is specifically killing that root or the hair follicle and again that just kind of reduces that that growth okay so definitely okay and safe to do laser hair removal there is only one area that is we that we don't treat, okay? And that is right underneath this brow bone here. And the reason why we don't treat that is because it is cl too close to the eye area. So same thing with like around these uh, cheekbones here, a lot of men or women, they end up actually having really fine growth and they would like to have it treated. Unfortunately, again, too close to the eye, so we can't treat, that would be number one. But so safety. Um, and then two, the also re the reason why we won't treat that area is because that hair could be too fine in texture. So if it is too fine in texture, the laser can actually stimulate hair. So that means it can actually make more hair grow. And so we don't want that. And we don't want you guys to ever feel like you have to spend again more. Um, and so we'll definitely let you know ahead of time that that is not going to be an ideal area. Again, number one for safety, because it's too close to the eye, that's again underneath the brow, right underneath the cheekbone, okay? Um, and then also too, that hair can be stimulated. So 
laser hair removal does in fact work with all skin types. Um, there's two different laser systems that we have. One is called the ND YAG laser. The other one is called the Alexandrite laser. You'll hear a lot of our technicians refer to them as YAG or Alex. So again, ND YAG and also Alexandrite laser. So with the difference between those two, a lot of people ask, is one more powerful than the other? Absolutely not. Basically what it is, it is fit to customize for your skin tone. So in other words, if you are fair to olive, then you're going to get treated on the Alexandrite laser. If you're olive to darker skin tones, we'll treat you on the Indy Yag laser. And so the, that is the only really difference between the two. Um, so it is definitely safe for all skin types to treat. Now, having said that, we also have to make sure that there is a specific or a good color contrast between the skin complexion itself and the hair characteristic. Because if you don't have a contrast between the two, you're not going to have optimal results. So what I mean is if your skin is darker than the hair, so that's if you have very fine hair, you end up going, say the beach or the pool with your family, or maybe it's just a fun vacation with the girls or something. You're going to have darker skin. And if you have that lighter colored hair, it won't pick up. The laser won't recognize it as hair. So that's what I mean when there has to be a good color contrast between the two. Your hair has to be thicker than, and then, well, I should say the hair has to be darker than the skin tone itself, okay? So that's the only way that laser hair removal won't be effective. Now, going also into that hair, there's four color pigments that don't respond to laser hair removal. One is uh, gray, red, white, blonde hair. So those are four hair color pigments that don't respond to laser hair removal. Again, gray, blonde, red, and white hair, okay? Those are the only hair color pigments that don't respond. Having said that, Clearstone definitely offers um, laser hair removal treatments for all skin types. Um, and that is because we have we do have the most sophisticated laser systems in the marketplace. We actually are the only ones in the state of Texas that use the laser systems that we have. Um, so they are duo. And for example, they there's two lasers on one particular system. So there is a toggle switch that the technicians use to go back and forth. Um, and so that's gonna help treat all skin types, whether you're light or darker in skin tone. So the treatment times do vary for different areas. So for example, if you were scheduling to have your first underarm treatment, usually that is scheduled for about 30 minutes. We set aside 15 minutes to, for the, a consultation to explain the process with our guests and of course answer any questions that they may have. And then we have another 15 minutes dedicated for just the treatment service for that smaller area. So usually smaller areas generally are about 15 to 20 minutes at most. For larger body areas such as lower legs, that is normally about 30 minutes, full legs about an hour, um, and also we treat men too. So we have back and shoulder treatments that we do offer, um, and so that also will take about 45 minutes to an hour. We do offer what we call t-shirt for men. That includes back, shoulders, chest, abs. With that also includes the upper arm. So, um, and that for that particular treatment, it's about an hour and 15 minutes. So our treatment times do vary with Clearstone, but uh, rest assured, you'll definitely have that dedicated amount of time for you and to make sure that you are properly treated. And then also, of course, just develop a relationship with you guys. A lot of our guests do ask us about um, the pain that's associated with the treatments. The treatments are a little bit uncomfortable, however, they're very tolerable. And the reason why they're tolerable is because we do have, again, sophisticated laser systems, which are fully customizable. So our technicians um, do have the capabilities of making that treatment more comfortable for you. And the way we do that is we, we can adjust energy levels, we can adjust the speed of the laser system, we can also apply more skin protection, if you will. So those are all different things, laser system wise, that we can make the treatment more comfortable. However, we also have what's called our Zimmer. And what our Zimmer is, it's a cooling system or a cooling mechanism to keep the skin cool as we're performing the treatment. Our laser system coupled with our Zimmer, which is our cooling system, helps 
with the reduction of what you may feel. Um, so again, the treatments are a little bit uncomfortable, however, very tolerable. And of course, if you want to also voice any concerns that you may have with your technician. So if you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable, just speak with your technician and they'll go ahead and make the adjustments that are necessary to make that treatment a little bit more comfortable. Usually with when you have thicker or coarser hair, that's when the treatments can become a little bit more pinchy, if you will. And if you have thinner, finer hair, you won't be able to fill those pinches as much. Again, the very best way I can describe it is a little bit of a rubber band snap. Um, so again, if you feel uncomfortable, just speak with your technician and again, we'll make those adjustments for you. numbers do vary in our guests. So it normally takes an average of anywhere between six to nine sessions to complete, give or take. However, everybody is a little bit different. For example, if you are if you have a hormonal condition known as PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, or hyper or hypothyroidism, basically any type of hormonal condition, it may take a little bit longer to treat for facial areas. But again, the general number of treatments uh, that is usually required for most body areas is six to nine. Um, it is hard to exactly pinpoint a number uh, for our guests on how many treatments they would need exactly because everybody responds differently. Um, and as such, that's why we recommend anywhere a series of, of between six to nine. It could be less than that, it could be a little bit more, but again, it's an average number of treatments. So, Having said that it generally takes six to nine treatments, that does not mean you will not see results after your first one, okay? So what generally happens after your first treatment, that hair is going to continue to grow for about two to four weeks, okay? The, very, the time that it varies for that hair to fall out, it is different for everybody. So you just have to be patient with it. However, you can shave. You do not have to let it grow out, okay? So after that first treatment, again, you're gonna have dead hair that is essentially growing, but it's also falling out. After that, you will not have any growth for about a month to a month and a half. When new growth does come in, that hair is going to be finer, thinner, lighter in texture and in color. So a lot of our guests, then the question becomes, well, how much growth or how much reduction will I see after that first treatment? Again, that number truly does vary. I've seen some of our guests only need two treatments, but we can definitely achieve after our first treatment anywhere between 60 to 80%. Um, I know that that is definitely a huge variance but it truly is um, awesome for some guests because they do respond differently. So um, every, again, everyone's different. So for preparation for laser hair removal, what you would want to do is make sure to have a close shave to the areas that we're treating. So um, you can shave one day prior or the morning of your appointment. I generally find that individuals who have razor rash or razor burn, they generally, it's um, better for those individuals that have that particular issue to shave in the morning. How, because if those individuals who have razor rash or razor burn um, shave the evening before, sometimes the skin can kind of get irritated overnight and really they start to itch at it. Um, so that's why I feel it's best for those individuals that do have razor rash, razor burn to shave in the morning. Um, but again, it's gonna be how you, you know your body. So if you feel like it's best for you to do it the night before, then that's fine too. So again, we do ask for all of our guests to have a close shave to the areas that we're treating, no stubble needed. Sometimes the, our guests do ask, well, if I shave, how are you gonna notice the hair or where do you see that hair growth coming in from? So the laser beam is about a nickel size in diameter, okay? And we also do about a 10 to 15% overlap between each pulse. And so that is just to make sure that we cover the area thoroughly, okay? Because we don't want you to have missed spots um, and we definitely want to make sure that you get a good, even and consistent treatment. A lot of our guests um, do ask if consultations are required with their treatment. Um, are they required and can I just walk in for an appointment? 
you are more than welcome to come to Clearstone, walk in, and of course, if we have the availability, we will definitely see you. However, if it is your first time with us, we do always do a consultation with you guys. And this is just so that way we can go ahead and make sure that you understand the process of laser hair removal and set proper expectations prior to actually beginning a treatment. So they are, gen they're not required per se, however, we still will go over one with you. So you will be informed about the laser hair removal process. And of course, if you have any questions that you need to ask us, we'll go ahead and set your mind at ease. All of our technicians here at Clearstone are state certified. We do have multiple locations. So rest assured, any service that you have with us, you're definitely going to be in good hands. All of our technicians do have licenses through the state of Texas. We do follow proper protocols provided by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations, also known as TDLR. We are state certified through the Department of State and Health Services, also known as DSHS. Any one of our guests is able to go to DSHS or the TDLR website and you will definitely be able to find any technician that is providing service for you and um, also their licensing as well. Some of our guests do ask about events. Now, with events, we do have to be very careful and also consider this. It could be a wedding, it could be maybe a summer vacation that they have planned with family, boyfriend, girlfriend, or even just as a couple's getaway. So you definitely want to start the laser hair removal process early on. A lot of our guests do think that if you start laser hair removal right before the actual event that you guys have planned, that you will be hair free. And that is not the case. As I mentioned previously, it does take anywhere between two to four weeks for that hair to fall out, as well as when the hair does come back in, it'll take about 10 weeks. If your goal is to be hair free by any event, it is recommended that you start the laser hair removal process roughly about a year prior to that particular event. If your goal is to have no hair growth within that time frame, then you're more than welcome to perform the laser hair removal treatment about four to five weeks prior to that event so that during that particular event, you won't have to shave. So there are different ways that we can help accommodate to prepare for this event, whether you would like to do that early on. However, here at Clearstone, we can definitely accommodate your needs by preparing for the event earlier or um, closer to that particular event. Uh, speak with your technician about this process so that way we can find what works best for you and that event. Some of our guests who are pregnant or seeking to get pregnant. With that, uh, we don't recommend for any of our guests who is currently pregnant to begin the process for laser hair removal. Not so much because it's not safe, but more for the fact that your hair will continue growing because you set, you have such a large fluctuation in your hormones and again hormones leads to more hair growth so we definitely don't recommend um, laser hair removal treatments when you are pregnant however if you're currently looking to get pregnant in the near future again we recommend that you start that the laser hair removal process after becoming pregnant simply because you don't want to have a few treatments and then be hair free again when you become pregnant your hormones do fluctuate uh, quite a bit that will allow more hair growth to come back initially so you don't want to start the laser hair removal process you would be spending financially when there's not a need to it is recommended that you wait to start the laser hair removal process after becoming pregnant and then we do not perform treatments while being pregnant well guys, that's what I have for now. That is my feedback. Of course, if you have any other questions, feel free to call our office at 832-460-4200. If you're looking for general pricing information or simply just wanting to know what area covers um, what, we do have uh, that on our website as well. Um, if you visit www.clearstonespa.com, click pricing and body illustrations, as soon as you do that, you'll definitely be able to see the body areas that are listed and what they actually entail. Again, if you guys have any questions, you are more than welcome to reach out to us. Again, that number is 832-460-4200. Thanks, guys.